What's up everybody? I am uh, here to answer some of the questions that you guys have had on uh, my videos the past couple weeks here. The first thing I want to do is thank uh, those of you that donated my channel. I mean that is absolutely awesome and uh, I really greatly appreciate that. I'm in the process of saving all my earnings from YouTube and whatever money I can get through donations for a uh, 4K camera to bring you guys way better content and uh, I can't wait till I can get enough saved up to to buy a new camcorder so anyways we'll start with uh, by answering these questions here Jack Graf asked did you kill that possum or let it go I actually uh, do indeed kill all the possums. I have a buddy that takes them and actually skins them and stuff. I don't deal with them though. Donald Strange says, uh, keep up with the trapping videos. How's the old lady coming with the kill em gear? We uh, made the order. We have hats and t-shirts on the way and we will have those up and for sale within two weeks. So uh, be looking for that. I'll actually do a separate video on uh, the shirts and hats and how you can get a hold of them in forms and everything like that. So that is coming very soon. Kenty70 says, show us some duck hunts this year, please, Cliff. Uh, we will definitely be showing you some duck hunts. Right now I'm uh, super into the whole deer hunting thing, but as uh, deer season progresses, and uh, I'll get more into waterfowl, don't worry. Gary Kane says, will you be doing any coyote hunts in the upcoming season? If so, like to catch a video of that. Thanks and good luck. Uh, yes, I have a buddy that does a lot of coyote hunting and actually he has got some video for me but I'm planning on just uh, taking all of his video here at the end of the, at the, end of the uh, coyote season and putting it together and making one video out of it. And uh, if I personally go on any coyote hunts, I'll bring you like a vlog style video of that. I've never had any luck with it but if I go, we'll bring you a video. Gary Kane says, great vids. When you harvest a deer, do you dress it where it lies or do you take it from the area, especially if it's near your stand? I actually really don't worry about it. I, I gut them out pretty much right where they die. I, I really don't think it bothers the deer movement at all. I don't know if anybody else on here thinks it does. You can go ahead and comment below and tell me what you, what you do. Drew Smith says, okay, Cliff, I have a question. That's if you see this. How big is the woodland you're hunting in and what would you say is the deer population that it has? Nice new camo by the way. Talking about my goofy hat probably. But anyways, uh, the property that I hunt is all, all in total about 600 acres. And for the amount of deer, we have a ton of deer. We actually need to harvest we actually need to take does off our property mature does we we uh i don't know how to explain how many deer we have but we have a lot and uh our buck to doe ratio is a little out of whack our our does are up here and our bucks are down here and you want that more level so we still need to work at killing mature does pacific addiction says what do you use for editing your videos thanks jesse i use final cut pro x I, uh, when I first started my YouTube channel, I used uh, iMovie and that worked great. And then I got into more advanced type stuff and ended up purchasing Final Cut Pro X, which is $300, that software. So that's what I use. GS says, excellent movie. Do you use a 6.5 Creedmoor for your rifle season? When will your bro be home hunting with you? I don't have a 6.5 yet, but I will have a 6.5 here sometime soon. I actually use a 30-06 for deer season, and sometimes I steal my old lady's 243. But Monty, my brother, is actually home from overseas now. He is a station at Fort Drum in upstate New York, and uh, he will be home hunting with me this weekend. So, like in two days, he'll be home. Ryan Parmley asks, what kind of camera do you run? I run the HFR 700. It's a Canon Vixia HFR 700. It's a really cheap, great camera that uh, that works good for what I do. It's not, it's not you know, the high quality camera that I want or I'm looking to get, but 
it works for what I do now. And since uh, YouTube took all my my uh, AdSense revenue, I can't afford a good camera, so I need to really save up my money for for a good camera. Don Seaman asks, what kind of trail camera do you use? I actually use quite a few different types. Uh, I use Bushnell. I use Browning trail cameras and uh, Cuddyback. The one that takes the best video is actually my Bushnell. That, that takes great video, the ones I got. I don't know exactly what type they are off the top of my head, but that's what I use. Sean Willard asks, are you going to shoot radar this season? Kaylee's a doll. You're a lucky guy, Cliff. Keep doing what you're doing. Actually, radar just got shot by uh, my neighbor three or four days ago now. So radar is indeed dead. And uh, I am happy for the, my neighbor that got him. It's, you know, that's a really nice buck. It was a mature deer, and that's exactly the kind of deer you want your neighbors harvesting. You know, you don't want them shooting that, that, that two and a half year old eight point. So, so that's good. Jaden Craigenbird asks, you should have shot that coon on camera. YouTube already hates me as it is. Like, there, I wouldn't be surprised if someday I get on YouTube to uh, upload a video and my channel has been totally shut down because YouTube does not like me and YouTube demonetizes all my videos and tries to do everything they can to to uh, make me quit doing what I'm doing. So if I shot the raccoon in the trap on camera, that would probably be the end of Kill em Outdoors on YouTube, so I can't do that. I have the 110 BA Stealth Evolution and 300 Wind Mag and love the gun. Are you crimping the case next? I don't do any special crimping. I just do exactly what I do through the reloading die. And obviously that crimps the neck back down to the size it should be. But I don't do anything other than, you know, the simple crimping of the process. Demolition Outdoors asks, can you make a video of you skinning, fleshing, and boarding your animals and then show us you selling them at the end of the year? I actually, uh, I can I can show you a video of skinning and fleshing and and stuff like that, but I usually tan a lot of my stuff. As you can see, a lot of my furs are, are right here in, in my hunting room. Uh, right now, the fur prices are so low that it's almost pointless. I could actually do better by skinning them and fleshing them and tanning them myself and uh, giving them away as, as Christmas presents to family members or whatever. So I, you know, I really don't rely on my trapping for monetary gain. I, I do it for, for the love I have for trapping and just that. It's fun. Demolition Outdoors. Do you kill the possum or let him go? I actually kill the possum. I have a buddy that takes them. Sport Clay 1. Sunlight and nylon straps doesn't work. How is the tick problem in your area? We really don't have any ticks. Uh... We're pretty lucky up here. It gets cold enough in the winters to really nail them pretty good. When I was in Georgia, when I was in the Army, and in Kansas, they were horrible. I mean, horrible. I'd come out of the field full of ticks, but back here in New York, I don't have much problem with them. Brandon Deemers asks, are you still on Snapchat? I certainly am. I'm Snapchatting YouTubers as we speak. Barry Bennett asks, neighbors don't complain, talking about uh, that goose hunt when uh, we were hunting right outside of town here. The video, it's kind of hard to judge the distance in the video. The video makes it look like it's pretty close, but we're actually a long, long ways away from those buildings, like probably seven, eight hundred yards. So, yeah, I mean, none of these people around here complain anyways. Everybody Everybody grows up hunting and, and goose hunting and waterfowl hunting and and uh, no, there isn't, we really don't have any tree huggers in our town. Brent and Butter, do you have any tips for scouting and getting permission to hunt fields and or waterfowl or water for waterfowl hunting? Uh, you know, I really don't have any tips for that because like I said, I grew up in this place. I, we, we we know everybody. I know all the all the farmers. My buddies' parents are the farmers, and you know, we really didn't. We don't have to go through the whole permission thing because we we already know everybody and have permission on everything. So I really don't 
have to ask that much for permission. Travis Mock says, cool video, when is the duck hunt going on? Because my friend showed me a video on Snapchat of the ducks hanging on the duck blind. I'm looking forward to it. That video has already been posted, so if you go on there and uh, look around on my channel, you'll find that video when we shot them ducks in that hole next to the duck blind. Weed XD38, what's going on? Good stuff. All just living life, man. Living the dream. Zach Wagler asks, what kind of money do you get for your furs and how does the profits range between animals, raccoons, possum, and coyotes? Like I said, I, we're not getting much money at all. And, and honestly, I don't even take my furs to the market. I usually end up just tanning them myself and, and uh, giving them away as presents or one of my buddies takes all of them. I obviously keep all the fox and, and uh, cool stuff I get, but the raccoons and possums go to a buddy of mine. Philip Blotch whatever please show how you shoot the animal i can't do that i said that already to uh the other guy on here i youtube would not like that at all duck caller says how's the duck blind all ready for the season the duck blind is ready for the season this year was kind of a rough year for the duck blind because the beavers left this spring like at the end of may the beavers left the area and uh they actually built a dam farther downstream from where the duck blind is. And what they did was they dug trenches through the through the dam of the duck blind that holds the water back there and let all the water down to their dam. So essentially it, it drained all the water out of the duck blind, which was great for me to plant millet. You know, there was no water out there, so I could get in there and plant a bunch of millet. But the problem was beavers never came back and dammed that back up. And here in New York State, uh, you you can't, you can't build dams on water that's naturally occurring. So, you know, I can't dam that or not dam it. You know, it's all got to be a natural natural setting. So it's working out now. The water is, dam it is getting backed up there and the ducks are coming in there. But it's kind of, uh, they're coming into a hole that's farther away from the duck blind than where the old hole used to be. So we're still killing ducks there, but it's not right in front of the duck blind. But maybe as the, sea, as the year progresses and the season goes on, that the beavers will dam that back up and we'll get some hunts out of the blind itself. The millet grew great and the ducks are eating it, so it, it, it is working out. Jacob asked, can you hunt with a crossbow? Actually, you can. It came in November 4th here in uh, western New York, and I've taken it out a couple times. Mason asked, when does rifle season open up in New York? It opens up November 18th, so uh, we will be out there for that. William May asks, what brand traps are you using? I actually have kind of a mix, mixed bag of traps. My uh, grandfather trapped and I got traps from him and I bought some traps from a yard sale when I was a kid. I got all kinds of traps and uh, Kaylee's dad got me, some, got me some really nice traps. So I'm using Victor's and Duke's and uh, the traps that have an H on them. I don't even can't even take off the top of my head what those are, but those are the traps I'm using. GS asks, do you have a multi-deer landowners permit or are you limited one deer per season? No. Here in New York State, you get your uh, you get your buck tag for bow or muzzleloader, and then you get your buck tag for rifle, and then you usually get a couple DMP tags, so a couple doe tags. So you can shoot two bucks legally and Actually, you can shoot up to five doe legally. You can you can get two doe tags, and then you can get actually you can get three doe tags, and then you can get two signed over. So you can legally shoot five doe in New York State if you draw three doe tags. Russ one one seven zero four four, dude, just a suggestion. Your videos are boring as watching my hard drive defrag. Video viewers who watch this type of content want a effing kill. Fast and hard. Total waste of time. <laughs> Sorry man. I am trying to please everybody here and I know that some people just want to see the kill and some people want to see the hunt. Uh, I know YouTube doesn't want me to show the kill anymore but it is what it is. Once uh, the summer comes back around you will be happy, Russ, because I will be showing lots of groundhogs getting smoked by the 300 wind mag again. Weed XD38 says, uh, 
a lot of good eating there is your freezer big. I do. I do have a large, very large freezer. It's a chest freezer. Holds lots of meat. That's going to do it for the uh, for the questions. Once again, I want to thank everybody for, for tuning into my channel and watching all these videos. This, these last couple weeks have been pretty hectic for me between the trap line and and uh, the deer hunting. But I, I absolutely love this time of year. This is without a doubt my favorite time of year to spend a lot of time in the woods and in the outdoors. It's This is a time of year that was met, made for me. I love it. I want to end this video once again by thanking those of you that have donated. I, Like I said, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, it really means a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll have more videos coming soon.